All right, we are recording. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. I know it has been a minute since I've done a recording. Um, we're gonna be doing a back to back of Polly and Britain tonight. They just got done doing a badass stream, their very first stream on Twitch. I'll link it down below in the description. I had, I'm not gonna lie, I was already like three joints in by the time they got to the cookies. And by then, I was conflicted. I was conflicted, folks. My mama instincts and my stoner raised hell eat cornbread instincts were like, get it done. And others, don't burn the house down. Oh my God. So it was a badass stream. The bugs. I'm not, I can't. I can't with the bugs. That's where y'all would have lost me. That's where y'all, I'm done. I'm good. I, I, where's the hotel? Where's the fucking hotel? <laughs> I ain't doing this shit. We ain't fucking with the bugs. Fuck that shit. But anyways, I got my pen. My pen is charging. I got my bowl packed. Let's jump right into this shit. If I can remember how. Now, I think this is the video he was talking about that they couldn't get uploaded. Wait, we run. There's my boat! It was never there, it was over there! Why is it Who the f rope is this?! What, does someone just been using it?! <laughs> so it was gone, and then they brought it back, and then they tied it up. Huh? But I do love the fact that you brought it back, and that's all that matters. Dude, I am like, why am I so turned off? All right, September 4th, 6 p.m. CST. We're going live on Twitch. Isn't that today? Yeah, that's today. I don't know if this video came out the 4th or the 5th, but it's today. Uh, uh, we're doing that. That. That's what we're doing. This is the first this time the Baby Mama set in sale. We're going live on out. Twitch. Just had to let you guys know. <laughs> Now, oh, that'd be me. That'd be me. That was really sweet. That was so sweet. Take off your pants. Give me the big red. Give me the red. Oh my god, Barbie! Oh my god! Oh, stop turning for me! Go, go, Bertie, go! Did you shave before? I did just shave. Can you? Yeah. A lot of your beard hair on your shirt. Nice shirt, by the way. Is that new? Oh yeah, that's a new merch. Oh, fanatic munch hunter. Ah. Did you play music? Do it for me. You want to play music for yep. me? Yeah, I'll play music okay. for you. You didn't right, play music. I didn't play any music. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a second, but welcome back. Today's finally AC unit day in the warehouse, which means we're going to have air conditioning. Believe it or not, we've been in there with none. It's been awful. It's been so bad. So we're going to go there. The only thing is, is I didn't hire an actual AC company. One, because I'm cheap. You guys know this by now. Motors, fishing stuff, travel, spirit airlines, etc. <laughs> we hired Mike and... We now have to put this 5-ton AC unit on top of a 30-foot roof. So I rented a boom lift. We do. With the cigarette in his mouth. Uh, oh, this is like not some fucking it. redneck shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where did this thing start? Oh, there we go. Oh, well. <laughs> Can you come down a little bit? I found those ratchet traps in the back of my truck bed, and we used them to go catch alligator gar on the Trinity. But you know what? We ball. All right? Nothing. Nothing, Mike. We're good. Oh, good See that back end start to go up that way? You tell me, and I will run and jump on it. I think it's a 50 50 shot that this works. This is why we didn't hire an air conditioning company. We hired Mike, because Mike's cheaper. And Mike told me to rent this boom lift. This boom lift is not a crane. Oh my god. Keep going. He's, he's doing all this with a cigarette in his mouth. He goes, let me have one more in case I die. What the? <laughs> one more in case I die. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh. Yeah, I like the professional. This is all OSHA approved. It's like the next best thing to Six Flags. Well, in case anyone wanted to know what the roof looked like, well, that's it. Kiss. Okay. The lift of love. Yeah, that'd be a good date idea. Rent a boom lift. I just can't run away from you then. Yeah, no, you now call this the boom lift of love. The love lift. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That looks sick. That looks cool, doesn't it? That looks so sick from the camp. 
You can't show you. Nope, you no, show I can't. Right. Well, this looks great. This because is. I didn't notice that these were wood texture. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Six. Yep. Bathroom. Full cool. bathroom. Can't wait to take it. There. Yep. Right. Okay. Your only limit is you. Yep. What a cheesy ass quote. Very <laughs> Nike. Just do it. Ass warehouse. Um, oh yeah, bro. Hey. Holy smokes, dude. And that. Why do you have that? Brooke got those. Brooke got those. Brooke, Brooke, why did you buy these? Why did you get the unhealthy stuff? Why would you ever do that? Oh, I got you. I got you, Vault. Red Bull, please tell me. Even better. Healthy. Good, good for you. Oh, there's also Red Bull. Oh, yeah, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. This is sick. I know. We, there's actually this is snacks. This so sick. All right, there's can not I... even snacks that falls out. No. no there's not. Never. Okay, how much is rent? For here, we're looking about 16, 16. 1,600 a month? Oh, got 16,000. Oh. oh. <laughs> take a bite. Take a bite. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was... I don't even want to eat the rest of it. Daddy, chill. Remember this, Mama? Oh, yeah, remember being like that is beautiful. We were all we we were all in Puerto Rico together, the whole group, except for Grant and Brandon. Brooke and, yeah, Brooke was in Puerto Rico. I went to Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's just, look at her. She's just a little office girl, just sitting there in the chair with, you. <laughs> with my family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's that a whole loft upstairs. I love this. Do you like that? Yeah. Like that? Wow. You like that? That looks incredible, dude. Yeah. He wants you to go upstairs. Want to go yet? I'm just admiring the beautiful work. Is that a pull bar? Okay, the turf on the stairs goes crazy. Goes crazy, dude. <sighs> you know, this is one of multiple. Um, I'll just say that. One of what? This is one of multiple. Warehouse is. I didn't say that. Warehouse is. I didn't. This is what, Texas location? Is, yeah. <laughs> Can we have one in Florida too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Now the reason Paul is here is because we're going live on Twitch. I already told you guys we're gonna be we're gonna be Twitch streamers now. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna be on on Twitch. Wow. Yeah. Big pipe. Big old pipe. Dude. Yeah. Big pipe. Big pipe. That is. It is. What'd you just do? I forgot my phone was connected. <laughs> you want? I forgot my phone was connected to the speaker. And I to get Play it again. Room. Play it again. No. It's okay. Just click the video. Click play. Tell me everything. Did okay. Travis Kelsey make Taylor Swift? Yeah, he he made her. Yeah, for sure. She was so irrelevant without him. I didn't even know who she was before. Me, me neither. <laughs> no one knows I was in a car accident. No, oh looked over. And Rick yeah, just yeah. leaked that he had <laughs> times on his couch. Rented. No, I did not. Rented. <laughs> Guys. Oh my gosh. Good so night. it's a really comfortable beam. <laughs> Get the. <laughs> All right, so you pretty much saw a warehouse tour. Now, I don't know if you guys saw me put this on my Instagram story. We got our boat stolen again. Now, don't I don't want to misconstrue this as we've been through this before a few we times. Have. I'm not mad. Like, at the end of the day, I'm really not mad. It's actually more funny than anything. But the way we found out was because when we went out fishing last time with CeeLo. A group of kids, man. Probably a group of seven kids. You what know? the f***? Yeah, bro. Why would seven y'all do Seven of y'all? Seven, bro. Yeah, no, no wonder you're able to carry it out of yeah. there. Seven of y'all came and took the boat. Seven. I remember every single one of y'all faces too because i told you guys leave that boat alone man y'all know where y'all can't come back here that's crazy yeah man seven of y'all came long story short man told them stop messing with the boat not just me i had somebody else tell them too you know because i wasn't even there yet he the one told me that you know yeah. what i'm saying that they were messing with it he told them to stop messing with it i got there i hollered at him i said hey man don't come down we, you know because we don't do that down here we leave our stuff down there all the time you know it's all family all love you know don't nobody touch each other's stuff down there yeah you know? whoever you guys is man bring the boat back man because we already know it. yeah we got an apple tag on the boat you know we coming to find it. a group of like you said a group of seven of y'all came and took it. What the? <laughs> like, that's just not fair. But okay. CeeLo called me the other morning. The morning after that video went live. Literally the morning after. <laughs> and y'all put the boat back. Y'all literally went and put the boat back after you saw the video. So I love you now. Um, and I would like to, I would like, we, we, we are friends. I would like to meet you guys and find you, but I, y'all didn't reply to my Instagram story. So at least I don't think you did. About half of the nation did saying they stole the boat. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> it didn't really work very well. The whole goal is to go pick up the boat really quick. Haven't we made it, my love? If it's not here now, I swear. If it was here this morning, if it's not here now, I'm gonna be pissed. See it? What? There's no way we just drove an hour and a half back here and someone else took it today. That's impossible. That's actually impossible. They pulled the fish trap back out of the water. 
By the way, that thirst trap was broken. It was broken last time and it was in the water when we pulled up here. Now it's back out of the water, but the boat is gone again. It was here. Sealer called and said it was here. They, he said they put it back and now it's gone again. There's no way. Everyone calls when they see us taking the boats up and off the bridge. Like it happens all the time. I don't want to call like the game warden because they've been trying to find me because they don't like that I throw the boat off the bridge. <laughs> all right, here goes nothing. Oh, good goodness. Got it. Oh, this is do keep tabs on a lot of the stuff that goes on here, but I don't want to call them. I feel like if I call them, I'm, just, I'm gonna screw myself. There's no way someone else took it. Okay, so we have like friends in, you know, law enforcement area over here from prior situations. How's it going guys? Just trying to break a world record alligator gar. I'm assuming not. Uh, yeah, I got your IDs on you? Yes, sir. Just your trip? Yes, sir. Terrible. So basically, when y'all come in over the bridge, that county road, you know, next time it's criminal trespassing and you're going to go okay. okay, yes, sir. So I called and just to ask to see if anyone had said anything about kids carrying a boat up just in case, right? And I was like, you don't need to send anyone out. Like, I don't need anyone. They were like, no, 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 no. We'll send a game warden out. No, no, we don't need to do that. That's not necessary. Okay. That part is not necessary. I don't like that idea. I could just leave, but then that also looks really bad because they know exactly who I am. To know if anyone who actually cranked it up every time. And you might have to chain it up. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I mean, nobody's gonna mess with it if you're not putting it on YouTube. I mean, that's the, I think that's the problem. Because I'm not ever mad at anyone. Know, Do you have a motor on or no? No, it's thank weird. God, it's not have a motor. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Okay, he was so nice. Thank God. He he even talked about lowering it up and down the bridge with our crane. He said, bro, yeah, just try and either crank it up every time, which sucks. We chained it off down there one time, but that person broke the handle off the boat and took it. So we're just gonna get a massive chain. I can't believe that. That. I mean, it's gone. It's gone. They were cool though. The game warden was cool. They've been cool every time. It's just the last thing that I heard is that they were looking for me because I threw the boat. <laughs> I was a little worried about that. You get the wrong guy and he's like, ah, uh -huh. now I've been looking for you. <laughs> that would suck. So, um, um, I do have to say, can y'all please stop stealing the <gasps> boat? I, I wouldn't be mad if some random person like came down here and stole the boat, which is what happened like before. But now it's just, it's y'all who watch the videos who are stealing them. It's gone. We came all the way back down here almost two hours from the house to come back to get it. And it's gone. We have one more that's over under those trees. And I think we might try and get that and crank that mama back up. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't work. There goes another one. Wait, wait, we run. There's my boat. I couldn't see it over the edge. It was never there. It was over there. Why is it? Who the rope is this? What does someone just been using it? <laughs> so it was gone and then they brought it back and then they tied it up. Huh? Okay, good news. We got the boat back. Bad news. I now have to crank the boat back up. I mean, they literally tied it back. I mean, that was actually really generous, guys. Thank you. I know y'all, I know you're watching this. I, I appreciate you tying it up. I don't love the fact that you took it, but I do love the fact that you brought it back and that's all that matters. Dude, I'm like, why am I so turned up? This is great. I love when I get a boat back. Oh, I love this baby mama. I'm coming, man. Originally, I took the handle off, but the threads are stripped, so I can only do it with the handle on. Oh, God, dude. I don't know how well this is going to work. I get to be in this situation, so I'm currently trying to figure out how to navigate it. We did it! She's been through it with other people's hands too. I don't like when other people's hands touch my stuff. Like I'm very, very particular about my men. You're overprotective. I'm overprotective. Yeah, yeah, I'm overprotective. We got it. Now time to take it back home. <laughs> All right, back at the warehouse. You saw that. Um, game warden was cool. Like, they were super chill, which is awesome. It was a short video today because we've been filming and planning everything for this stream that a lot of you guys got to watch. Oh my gosh, Get up, Bridget! And we also filmed the video outside sure of, just the, the house, of just the stream. So this is what uh, this is what we've been working on. It's been our project this whole time. So we're sponsored oh. by Hockey. Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, that's the release. No, I know. Short video. We do not upload. We have not uploaded short videos in a while.
while, but everything has been stacked on top of each other. You got to pretty much see the full warehouse. We got the AC up, we got the stream going, and we got our bow back. It's a pretty big win-win to me if you ask me. And we've gotten these boats stolen plenty of times before. So I love you guys. Click the subscribe button down below and we'll see you in the next video, which is a banger. So all of you at home, you know what to do. Not that. <laughs> all right. Peace. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Is that B with the oh, Louis V in the Trinity? Yo! Oh, I'm getting a fade. <laughs> in the, where? I'm getting a fade. <laughs> oh, Gavin's that. giving me a fade. Yo! Yo! So, um, yeah, there's different things about it. And I can go back to LA. Go back to Comedy Store, the improv place. Uh, Someone right? sleeping in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Brenton, go. That's in, that's insane. So many of them. Like, oh, what is he doing? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. No, thank you. No mas. No mas. All right, and now, as you guys can see, we're going to Polly next. I think he's going bow fishing. Which I personally have never been, but that would be one that I would like to do. I prefer bowing over guns. Me personally, I prefer the bow. But I've never been bow fishing. That, that right there is an alligator. Yep, there it goes. There's a gator straight down right there. Big selection of bows here. We've made it to the ranch. All right, we're walking into the marsh. I'm shaking like it. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. We started off here in front of a Bass Pro Shops, but this isn't just any average Bass Pro Shop. There's alligators in front of it, and there's not only alligators here, there's also hogs. So we're starting off here because as you probably read by the title thumbnail, we're gonna be doing some bow fishing today. Not only bow fishing, we're gonna take whatever we get bow fishing back to the house because we don't have to waste anything and feed it to our monster fish. So that'll get started here soon. Let me show you some alligators. The fact that there's just like a please do not feed alligator sign right where you could just pull up in a parking lot totally blows my mind. Look at these guys. There's one right here. There's a gator straight down right there. There's another gator under this boat right here. There's another one over here. You can see his tail. And this enclosure is sick. I mean, it runs all the way over here. And around there, Danny's with us today. Hey, Danny. Crocky Mike. Crocky. Crocky. Crocky in the river. Look at the absolute stud. Oh, he's moving. He's How moving. FanDuel Casino oh, has your chance at the number one feeling, winning, which ranks even higher than the 18th best hey, feeling. Hey, buddy. Dude, I wish I could go in there. Look how clear that water is. If I had one of these, it'd be so cool. Fortunately, you need like hundreds of hours of spending with. Life. Alligators in order to even get approved for it. So I do know a guy. There's a lot of gators in here. You can see them all in the distance. Really cool enclosure. I'm sure they do like shows and if stuff here. Probably, I would uh, doubt it. No. Would, I'd be uh, shocked uh, if they didn't. But big old gators, boys and girls. We're not even inside yet. And then there's hogs too, right? Oh this God. place is so sick. Look at the difference in enclosure. They have a little mud area. That is so dope. The little mud section right here. I cannot believe they don't jump over that. But yeah, look at the little nose marks everywhere. This is the mud side. You can see the pigs over there. Let's walk over there. Bro, there's no way that people don't come over here and feed these things. There's huh? no way that people don't feed these. It's next to a D5 bounce house stadium thing where kids play on trampolines. Look at that hog. Dude, those are straight boar hog. Danny, right next Dan, what would you do to that boar hog? No, that's right. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Sleeping out in the open, mm. and there's actually more sleeping inside their house over here. It is really it's a very, cool very nice like, enclosure. Damn. And you know what I've always noticed about hogs or pigs in general? A lot of people don't realize they're super clean, surprisingly. Now, these hogs don't smell as good as like the fully domesticated ones that I've got, um, but I do have a boar hog, and uh, I tell you what, they're a lot cleaner than you think. They're very smart. They like to poop in certain sections, so the enclosure's not just covered with poop like a goat's okay. enclosure. Pretty I'll cool to see these guys in front of Bass Pro Shops. They don't smell good. They don't smell bad. These hogs are definitely don't smell good, goats. but my like my farm does not smell that bad. All right, they let's go inside here. Let's check out what kind of 
kind of bows they got. Oh. 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 Huh? Why? Dude, look at this thing. It's got the drop bed and everything. Hydraulic bed, bro. I can put all the feed for the farm in here. How much is this? 16,000. Yep, we're going to keep walking. Now, of course, the first place I'm going to be, the aquarium. There's a heck of a lot of big fish in here, including a catfish right in front of me. Look at this catfish right here. He's just chilling in the flow. Just chilling. Got big old red fish, which I really want to make a trip up north to do uh, these fishing. You go fishing for those big old red fish in the inlet. It's very, very fun. I used to do it when I was a kid. I haven't done it in a while. But if y'all want to see that video, let me know. I think it would be sick for YouTube. There's some long nose gar in here. Wanted a good fish for the aquarium. Cool. Wait a second. Wait a second. They need a fish. They need fish. Smallmouth bass, five pounds. Crappie, three pounds. Largemouth bass, eight pounds. Interested in others. Over five. We might have to be catching bass pro shots some fish, folks. I don't know why they'd want more largemouth. They have a, an unbelievable amount of largemouth bass, as is. Those redfish are so sick. I've never been able to understand how they get giant bull reds. I'm talking massive redfish like that to live with largemouth. That's completely fresh water. All right, Danny, we're heading over to your favorite section, yep. the hunting section. Yeah. This is uh, this is where all the the bone arrows are the things that we're not allowed to say on YouTube are yeah well bone arrow I think we're allowed to say bone arrow look at these things holy smokes cool. crossbows so I think last time I was here it was it was quite some time ago folks and we thought about getting like the basic stuff like this is just the real and some arrows which we obviously need the bow itself last time I got a pretty nice one so big selection of bows here to use I don't even know what these things cost 400. 419, 380. Yeah, bad news. These are more affordable. Six. That won't work. Why not? It doesn't have enough oomph to go through the fish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, this one definitely has enough oomph. This is 220. What are the odds the one that you have is at the house and you just don't know where it went? Probably very high. So, you know, since I'm Paul's financial advisor, maybe we'll go home, look for it, and if we find it, then we will save money on the video. That way we make money on these videos because we're not making money. <laughs> it's all about just having fun, right? Yep. Let's just spend 400. No. Okay. Oh, this is this is Brenton's favorite spot. Brenton. Oh, Brenton needs to see this tent. We can bring this onto an island and spend an entire night on the island with this tent. That is Mima Sasso Grande El Pescado tent. Look at the inside here and there's an outside screened in area. Oh goodness, I need to FaceTime him right now. Please answer, Brenton, please answer. I need to show you this tent. Brenton, please answer. Check out these deals of the week at Walgreens. All right, they hate me. You know what, Brenton and Jaquan? You'll never see this tent. How about that? You'll never see it. Oh, oh. Brenton is awake. Aha. The man himself is awake. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? You just wake up? No. Yeah, your eyes are swollen. No. I have to show you this tent. It has an interior and exterior. Yes. In, it, have a bedroom? it has two bedrooms and an outdoor screened in area. Where is this at? Bass Pro. <laughs> Let's get it for a live stream so we can go okay. live with it. Should I buy this thing? Bro, we should do a live stream with it. It's yes. Live. Speaking of live stream, why not I promote that at this moment? We now have a Twitch account. It's linked in the description down below, me and Brenton. And uh, we're going to be doing live streams on Twitch okay. of these crazy experiences. We're going to play with each other on camera. No, no we're not going to do we're, we're Brenton. The Twitch account is called Brenton and Paul. We're going to be doing live streams oh every single week, oh probably weekly. Hopefully, or are you just sitting there smiling <laughs> like you're next to me? Brendan's with me. I'm going to buy this tent and we're going to stay and we're going to stay on that tent for the first stream. Where are we going for the first stream? No, we're not. We're staying on the houseboat in the middle of the river catching giant alligator gar for the first stream. Oh, yeah, we are. We are. Our streams are going to be next level. Nothing you've ever seen. None of these little kiddos running around uh, fighting each other and doing immature activities. This is going to be super fun and immature activities. Twitch is linked down below. Follow us there. Don't miss our streams. Orally. I'm buying this tent. I'm actually buying Orally. this tent. Brenton is gone. He's gone, but I'm buying the tent. Ugh. 
We're back in the trail cam section. This is what I've wanted to do for so long now. I'm not gonna lie, just turn around. I thought that mannequin was a human. With no head. With, with no head on it. Anyway, back to this. Trail cams. I want to put these in my backyard, or whether it's my backyard or like a field somewhere by my backyard, and see what kind of predators we could find That'd with these dope. cameras. These will turn on automatically when an animal walks by in the wilderness. So if you want to see that, smash the like button. It's definitely a video I plan to do coming up, but I'd love to see your feedback on that. Trail cameras are sick, and I've always wanted to take advantage of this product and make a badass YouTube video. You like it. taking advantage of a lot of things. If you don't know what a trail camera is, it's literally a camera that blends into the tree and has an automatic sensor so that when an animal walks by, you get cool video footage and it saves it to the SD card inside of the trail cam. So there's many different options, um, but I plan to definitely do some with these. I want to start doing outdoor stuff a lot more on the channel and switch it up. And of course, just do everything that involves animals and outdoors and entertaining y'all watching. Trail cam video probably coming soon. So we're going to get the heck out of Bass Pro Shops. This was a super cool and fun experience and hopefully find the bow at home and I'll see you at a uh, buddy old pal's ranch here. Folks, we made a little pit stop before going over to uh, uh, the, the ranch to visit our boat. I haven't mentioned a single thing about this boat unless you follow me on Snapchat, which you see a lot of stuff before YouTube does. Link in the description. This right here is a 24 foot Seahawk. I have footage of literally buying the boat, bringing it here, testing the boat, the whole nine yards. Um, and that'll all be a video from start to finish of this boat build. But we're here right now because they just finished the uh, the entire bottom. We gutted the entire thing from all the wood because this, this boat was built in 1998. So we wanted to take all the wood frame and make it essentially all fiberglass. So it's a lot stronger now, which it's pretty much rebuilding the boat from scratch. And all that will be in the video of buying the boat. And of course, having the T-top and the motor and everything installed in the boat. It's all going to be one big video. Hopefully be done in the next few months. The plan with this boat is really, really cool too, because I actually want to be able to take y'all watching right here, the Caferos, out on this thing so it's a really cool project but i uh, just wanted to update you guys on it and actually mention it on the channel more on this definitely later but as you can see they can finally start fiberglassing all of this now and then of course paint the entire interior it looks so different dude it's crazy so i guess i just wanted to throw a little teaser in this video now we're gonna go bow fishing by the way uh, we went back home we're an hour and a half from home now we went back home and got my bow i found it it was in the barn but we got my bow. So we got one bone arrow to work with. Hopefully we could do the trick with the one bone arrow. But this thing, I thought I lost it. We got it. All right, folks. Two seconds. Well, two seconds for y'all. All right, folks. Sorry about that. We are back. We've made it to the ranch. And out here, we will find all sorts of stuff. Let's go, Danny. What are we whipping? Uh, we are whipping a Can Am Defender. Fellas have got the polarized lenses on. Bill of the hat over the lenses. And we're riding the side of this canal looking for some stuff to shoot. We got the bow in the back. The bow is in the, bow's in the back. I probably should get that. Uh, forgot we were both in holy crystal clear water. Beautiful scenery. Very nice. It's actually probably the most incredible property that I have ever had the privilege to visit and see. That's some tilapia beds right there. 400 acres, just straight marsh. Florida marsh. All right, pulled up to the first spot. It's so weird looking at myself in this camera with glasses on. Let's do some damage here, folks. We just need some fish food. I'm looking for, uh, for some tilapia sitting on beds. But I got no luck so far. We're just walking this canal. It's actually pretty deep off the bank. And hopefully we come across some fish that we could take this and just, you know? I'm gonna hop in here with you. It's probably a lot lot more efficient on the legs, huh? You go to the gym, dude, what do you mean? I know. Turn off. All right, we're walking into the marsh. Like there could be an alligator right where my footsteps are right here for all I know. Look at my feet. This is insane. Oh, look at these plecos. Can you see them on camera? Two plecos right there. Damn. All right, folks. Take this, Daniel. I fucking love Plucky. I'm going to try to grab this thing with my hand. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's sick. That's an alligator. That, that right there is an alligator. I'm out. Watch out behind you. Watch out. It's go, just go, go, go. a pond puppy. Can't be messed. I'm out. That's it. That's just enough said. Wrap it up. Where are we going? Where are you taking me, Danny? I'm never return. <laughs> 
Like what in the heck? We're literally driving straight through sawgrass. How do you know that's not a canal? That is a canal. Yeah. Holy smokes. That is a canal. What the? This right here is what Florida is all about. This is why we love Florida. Right there, there's a bed. <laughs> I'm shaking like a... That was a money shot, dude. Dude. Money shot. Absolutely. Was a money shot. I thought I got him. I thought I absolutely stoned him. I'm going to stone you in a second if you don't feel a thing. I, I know. That was bad. That was, that was kind of like... That was embarrassing. Let's keep going. This dock has a thousand fish. Do you see it on camera? Ooh. They're blowing up. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. Can you see them on camera? Mm. Maybe. That is nuts. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I know what we'll be able to see it. That's this camera. So we're going to go under. A couple blue go, eh? Look at the koi. See the koi on the end of the dock? Oh my god, there's a koi just chilling. That's literally a koi fish. All right, shoot there, big Oscar. Look, look at the one right here, Paul, behind you. Right here. Hey, oh, that's a good shot. Oh my god. We just found this dock where once a day these feeders go off. So the fish are just migrated, waiting for this feeder to grow off. And Danny said we need to cheat the system. So we're going to cheat the system. You take this and you just. And it's like piranhas. Now we see this big tilapia here. That's what we want. Now we're gonna we're gonna stay far and clear of bluegill, largemouth bass, and the fish species that actually need to be here. The invasive species of the tilapia. That's what we're after. So we're just gonna take our time, sit back, wait a little bit. That bass just ate a bluegill, and uh, <laughs> wait till we see a good enough size tilapia. I'm sitting here for the last 15 minutes. It's actually crazy. I'm still trying to get one. So we're having. Quite the struggle, but we're gonna make it happen. Danny left me, by the way. He left, completely left. So Meet Waterpix Sensonic Complete ah. Care, the number one recommended water flosser brand combined with the award. Oh, yeah, a whole bed load of feed for the farm. This is uh, one of my favorite days, right, Tommy? Yeah. You love the far you feed farm day, feed day. Day farm, feed farm, day farm. Feed favorite day. Feed favorite day. We have to unload all this into the backyard, and of course, the goats are about to get a nice old bale of green. Wow, today's hay is extremely green. <laughs> what up? Holy smokes, turkeys are getting big. What up, guys? I got hay coming. There's hay coming for you guys. I know, little baby. I'm co oh, oh. You know, it's the next morning. We went uh, bow fishing yesterday and unfortunately could not get, for the life of us, roll the clips of how many times we missed. Hey, oh. Yeah, we couldn't catch any. We couldn't do it. I'm typically not one to ever give up either. I'm not. I have not given up. We're going to do a part two to this. I just have to fly. I have to leave. So today, instead of bow fishing a tilapia, I'll show you. We're going to get one that has already been bow fished. Tilapia. I know, boo-hoo. I'm, I'm mad at myself, all right? I couldn't do it. I couldn't clutch up. But this right here is exactly what we would have had. <laughs> a frozen tilapia. And that is exactly... Look how much feed we have in there. Holy smokes. We're just going to defrost this. And we're going to feed our monster freshwater fish. Because i got to catch a flight. And if I don't do this, then I'll miss my flight if I go try to catch more. Because we all know how long a bow fishing episode could take for me, PC. I'll miss 500 times. You know, I'm genuinely curious if a pig would eat this. I think I think my pig would definitely eat this. That's for sure. Now, on over to here, we're doing a 50% water change. Which, oh, hey guys. I just realized that we we're doing a water change. Wow, today's just not the day to feed tilapia, I guess. Let's see. Beast will probably still eat. Beast don't give a crap what water level it's at. Yep, there it goes. Hoo -hoo, down the whole filet by himself. If you didn't watch the video, like I said, we, we swam with these guys. It, it's it's crazy. The video was nuts. We've been adventurous lately. I mean, the next video is crazy too, which I can't wait to share. I love making videos. I just love it. Thanks so much for watching these videos too, by the way. If you haven't already and you want to see these types of videos literally live with me and Brenton, we just created a Twitch account. We're going to do a lot of live streaming. That is in the link in the description. Definitely go follow our Twitch. You will not regret the live streams. Spending 24 hours on an island 
literally streaming for like hours long overnight in the middle of the ocean on a raft we're gonna do some of the craziest stuff the internet or at least twitch has ever seen that's for dang sure some people watch these streamers that just hang out in their room and talk which is cool more power to them but we're gonna do something no one else on the app has ever seen so make sure to go follow there i appreciate all your support unfortunately we didn't bow anything we didn't actually like you know like stick into a tilapia and then come back and feed the pond we're doing a water change anyway and of course i showed you what the heck bowfinch is all about which unfortunately if you guys want to see a part two where we actually like take a couple days of doing it because i i need help uh, i'll also do that just leave a like down below i need landscape so bad and we're also building a big lizard enclosure here i think but i need landscape so 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 bad i'm so tired of this dirt there's dirt everywhere turkeys why you gotta poop on the dang sidewalk they sleep right here and then they poop all over the sidewalk right here so i gotta spray it off every day every day i gotta spray that off you know that every day it's time to feed our goats Ugh. by the way this is mima salsa grande the 1500 ram fully base model stock she is solid let me tell you Ugh. enjoy my fellow goats enjoy they haven't had hay in a day or two because of the holiday weekend and i ran out so right now they are loving life loving life yeah, sorry about the wait, guys i'm so sorry they actually need hay it's a huge part of their diet so i'm glad we got that taken care of now boots loves it he's always the first one over here hi yeah yeah mia did you jump in the pool girl oh yeah mia jumped in the pool she's soaking wet goodness gracious it's crazy here at the farm rick and morty just wanted to say one more thing right rick and morty this is rick and that's morty and that's rick and this is morty i don't know which one's which they're, i think they're both females though and uh, we got some cool plants for this enclosure here soon we'll see you right back here in the very next video i'm breaking a sweat oh my goodness peace all right guys that was polly and britain like I said, I will link the the Twitch thing down below. Everybody else, it's next day for me, so I, I got to get ready to do what I got to do for the day. Have a good one. Deuces.